If you're new to Blender, then things may feel very complicated and intimidating, where in fact Blender is really simple. For example, 99% of my models were created with only 6 to 7 modifiers. Today we're gonna be talking about one of them, which is a boolean modifier. It's very important and I'm pretty sure that after watching this video, you're gonna have a really good understanding of how to use it. Let's go. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about boolean modifier in this video. And in other videos, we're going to be discussing other modifiers. But if you would like to go deeper into hard surface and learn more about the UI, all the tools, modeling, rendering in one concise package, we have a free course for you called Jumpstart Hard Service in Blender, which was downloaded by over 50,000 people. It's a fantastic course, which will give you a solid foundations of Blender in a fraction of a time. OK, so go ahead and grab it. Like I said, it's free and the link is in the video description. I'm using only six, maximum seven modifiers in 99.9% .9 of my work in Blender in terms of hard surface. And you don't really need much more than this. And today we're gonna be talking about booleans, all right? Because, you know, it's one of the most important modifiers. So let's shift A and add a cube. And you'll see here, we're gonna have a new tab. Go to this range, click here, and you can see all the modifiers in Blender. Now I told you I'm using six or you know, all seven, right? So let me show you which ones. I'm using Array, Bevel, Boolean, Mirror, Solidify, Weighted Normal, and sometimes Subdivision Surface, okay? Let's say we wanted to cut this cube with a cutter. We need to first create a cutter. So Shift D to duplicate it, right click to cancel, SX to scale on X axis, then press G and Shift X to move it on the Z and Y here, okay? Now we're gonna be using this cube as a cutter to cut this cube, all right? Now, before we do that, we want to enable one add-on in Blender, which is called Bull Tool. It will allow you to use shortcuts with NumPad to cut objects much more easy. So type Bull here, click this check mark and save prefs. And if you're not using a proper keyboard with NumPad, you know, go ahead and get one. But uh, if you don't have one right now, just go here to input and emulate NumPad and you're gonna be good to go. Sweet. So now before we cut this, right, we need to do one thing. We need to apply scale. It's really important. If I press N here to um, open the end panel, you'll see item properties, okay? And there is a scale. If I click on this cube, you see that the scale is uniform, one by one by one on each axis, right? But this one isn't, right? The reason why it isn't uniform is because we scaled it on X axis in object mode. If I did that in edit mode, I will be fine. But in object mode, I'm not. And we're going to be talking about modes in a minute, okay? So now, in order to uh, make this scale uniform, I need to apply it. So Control a and apply scale, and now it's uniform, okay? And the scale is really important when you're working with stuff like bevels, solidification, you know, arrays, etc. Okay, so it should be a habit to apply scale. So let's just grab this cube here, Shift select this one and Control minus on a numpad. And this will add a modifier, Boolean modifier here, to this cube. Now let's let's talk about what happened, okay? We cut this cube with this modifier, with this boolean. The boolean here has changed to a wireframe so you can see through it. We can also move it and we can adjust this boolean on the cube. So it's not applied, it's live. And that's why we have this live boolean modifier here. We can change it to union, we can change it to intersect, which is going to be the intersection between these two or back to difference. There's one more Boolean type, it's called slash, we're gonna be talking about it in a minute. If you wanted to go to Union Boolean, you know, immediately, Shift DY, you can just press Control Plus, okay? So Shift select the object you wanna Boolean, Control Plus, and if you wanna create an intersection, you simply have to go here and click on intersection, all right? Now there's one more modifier and it's called slash, and I'm going to clean the scene here. So A, delete all, Shift A, another cube, and I'm going to create a new cube here, right? So again, Shift X, S X, and I'm going to create a slash here, right? So select this cube here, Shift select this one and Control forward slash. Slash modifier can be very confusing, so pay attention, okay? Here, this cube, the main one, has a difference modifier running on it, which means if I apply this or hide this with H, I'm gonna have a cut. Now this piece here has an intersect modifier running on it, which is an intersection between these two objects, okay? Makes sense? Now if I wanted to apply this boolean here, I'm gonna have an error message, watch. Make object data single user 
and deploy a modifier right now what the fuck does it mean these two objects are linked because this object was created out of this object so what you need to do is click on this object here and either go to data and clean this the link data or you can go here to the modifier apply click on this and it's going to apply the modifier okay now if i move this cube you see what happened i apply the cut modifier and this one is an intersection now watch what happens if i'm going to remove this modifier here okay so i'm going to remove this difference modifier and i'm going to get this weird z fighting effect now what happened now is the modifier was removed and this cube is actually a solid object but we still have a cube inside of the cube you see in this this one here in the middle so when this happens to you you probably removed the difference modifier and you left this intersect modifier here in the middle okay so be careful all right this is like i said where people get really confused so when you're going to apply this you need to apply both of them okay you need to apply the intersect modifier and you need to apply the difference modifier okay and then you're going to have two different cubes um, here one with a cutout and one a small one okay let's talk about some more advanced stuff for booleans you know the fun stuff okay let's shift to this cube here and g shift x move it here sx a control i and apply scale okay now what i want to do now is i want to cut this object like we did before so control minus but now we're going to have some fun okay so let's select this one and shade auto smooth select this one shade auto smooth and we're good to go since I have a life modifier here, what I can do is I can alter the shape of the cutter to change the shape of the cut. So for example, I can go to edit mode. And by the way, if you're using vanilla blender, you're going to be using tab to go between object mode and edit mode, and then one, two, three to go to vert edge and face respectively. I'm going to be using something that's way better than vanilla blender, which is called machine tools. It's a free add on. I suggest you go and get it day one because it's going to save you a shit ton of time. Vanilla Blender is way too slow and clunky for specific basic operations. And also I have two videos that explain how to use machine tools. So, you know, you have no excuses. Yeah, just go ahead and get it. The link is in the video description, by the way. So I'm going to be using a tab with machine tools pie menu to go to my edge. Um, you can just go tab and press 2, okay? Click on this edge here, and we're going to press Ctrl B. We're going to press Ctrl B to bevel it and scroll my mouse up to create a you know, few segments here. Now we have a cool bevel going on here, right? Then I'm going to go to edge mode again, select this edge here, and then hold Ctrl and select this edge. And I'm going to Ctrl B that, scroll my mouse down to create a chamfer. And I've got this kind of a shape. Then I'm going to select everything, go here to um, mesh and i'm going to symmetrize this right from right to left and now i got something like this this is still one cutter okay this is still life yeah okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this cutter watch shift a and add a cube scale it here move it up and s z and then g y okay and i'm going to select this cutter and then press Control minus and I get something like this. So now what we can do, we can go to this um, modifier edit mode, Control R to apply uh, an edge, drop it down here, grab this edge here and GY and do something like this, okay? You can even hold Control. And look at this, we created a cutter which is still live, okay? And you know, we, we can move it and everything. So if I, for example, move this, right? I can still alter the shape. Now we have a modifier, boolean modifier, running on our boolean. So I can apply this now. So I can remove that, X and delete. And now we have a very complex boolean here, okay? Seeing this? I can move it, rotate it, I can do whatever I want with it. So I can see how powerful booleans can be, what you can do with um, your booleans. And you can push it even further. You can start mixing modifiers. We're going to be talking about other modifiers in different videos. But what will happen if I, for example, add solidification here, right? I'm going to go here and add solidification to this cutter, which is live on this cube, right? And this happens, right? So now I can actually adjust this element either outside or inside, okay? And you can create stuff like this, which is pretty cool. So you can do quite a lot with uh, stacking modifiers and create some really interesting shapes.
So that's what you can do with Booleans in Blender. It's uh, quite amazing if you start thinking outside the box. And um, like I said, this free course, Hard Surface Jumpstart in Blender can help you immensely with this. So go ahead and grab it. It's a free course and the link is in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.